Welcome to my third anime ever, and that is Hunter x Hunter. I watched all the seasons, so the supercut's going to contain them all. And if you want to see, jump to a specific season, I will have the time code down in the bottom. And I hope you guys enjoy, because I really enjoyed this series, and it's probably one of my favorites out of all of them. So as someone who has never watched anime, I've been slowly making my way through. And I watched the trailer for Hunter x Hunter, and it looked fun. So I gave it a try, and of course, I binged through the entire first season. So let's talk about it. One of the main characters, Gon. I love how he's never giving up, and how he just keeps going and going, no matter the odds, and he keeps fighting no matter what. And then you got Killua, who this assassin, who is a child, and he's a badass and he just wipes the floor with everyone constantly through the season and i really like how he wants to be friends with gone and how that really is portrayed throughout the entire season i really like karapika because i love how he has this determination to defeat the phantom troop because they stole his family's eyes and liario i find him hilarious because he, he looks like a grown full grown adult but apparently he's only 19 and he runs around with a briefcase and he wants to be a doctor I love their character dynamic through the first season, how they're going through the hunter test and doing all the different activities and how Killua doesn't end up being a hunter. I am really enjoying this show and I cannot wait to continue it. It's really fun and I just really like all the aspects of it. Okay, so binging it took me a little less time than I originally thought uh, because it was only 12 episodes for season two of Hunter x Hunter. I mean, it was it was a good season. I enjoyed it, but it, it went by like that and it was... It was funny because you have Killua and Gon going through this tournament and they're literally just one punching everyone as they go through. And you're like, holy shit, these 12 year olds are strong. But that fight was Hisoka? God, it, it creeped me out. Like, Hisoka is one creepy ass dude. Everything turns him on. It's like, oh, I felt uncomfortable watching it. I do wish we saw more Liaro and Kurapika during this season, but I do like how we got a just kind of a shot about what's going on with Kurapika as all these characters are learning Nen. But I did like how the Hunter exam wasn't over and to, they had to learn Nen to do it. I really like learning all about the Nen. I also like how at the end of the season, Golden learns more about his father and they now they have to go get this game and get inside this Greed Island game. And I think this is going to be interesting for the next season and I am excited. I like how his father doesn't want to see him, but Gon is determined to go see him. And I can't wait to see how that plays out and when we're going to finally meet Gon's father. And I like how the tape also dropped his mother's name, but Gon wouldn't listen to it because his aunt is like his mom. And I thought that was really touching. But I'm excited to see where this third season goes with the game and everything else. I think it's going to be pretty cool. So we're back with Hunter x Hunter season three. I really love the fact that this picks up with Kurapika because I, I missed him during the second season. And it pretty much picks up directly from what we saw in the second season. Honestly, this is a darker season because it's really dealing with Kurapika and his demons and going after the Phantom Troop. Then the fight with the bigger guy and Kurapika just kicks his ass with his chains, Ned, and knocks him on the ground and kills him. Like, it got pretty dark, but all the fight scenes, all like the action scenes and them kind of working together. I mean, the spiders are still around because they never really finished by the end of it. I like how Hisoka ended up being a spider only for the purpose of fighting the leader because he wanted a challenge. And I like how Kurapika only has these powers because he put a term on himself so that if he betrays using the chains only against the Phantom Troop, he'll end up dying. Again, I love Kurapika's character. He's a really interesting character. I also like how Leario came back and helped out because it's nice to finally have all the characters back together. Really cool season though with all the Nen and all the spiders and the mafia. This show is really fun and I just, I can't get enough of it. You know what I gotta say, we're back with Hunter x Hunter season four. And this was again another great season because we finally got to Greed Island. This arc was pretty cool. And I really liked the whole aspect of the game and how the game was pretty much there to make Gon grow and become more powerful. I really like it though how Gon and Killua were getting new powers. Killua gets some nice electric powers and Gon has his rock, paper, scissor powers. And I thought it's really, I don't know, they're, they're such OP children and it's awesome. And then we meet Bisky, who's this 57 year old girl in this like kid's body. But then she grows and turns into this giant freaking Hulk. And I was like, what am I watching right now? I love how they're playing the game and Kilo has to leave to go get his hunter license. Beats everyone right away. And then they're just like, yeah, give him his hunter license. He's already passed before. He deserves it. I like how eventually when they run into the first game master after they've been training and everything and trying to get the last cards, it's dodgeball. And the Game Master was told not to go easy on Gon because it's his father's son. And I love how strong Killua and Gon are and how Hisoka actually teamed up with them to do all this stuff. Also, that end fight with the bombers, I cannot believe Gon sacrificed his arms. His arm was physically gone. I was like, 
Is, is he gonna have a robotic arm now? But of course they healed him by then, but I was like, holy shit. Another fun season. I can't, I'm interested in seeing where they're going the next season. I looked at the episode count and there's like 60 episodes. So it's gonna take me a while to get through it. Hunter Hunter, the Chimera Antarch, and first off, first off, first off, what the hell are these things? Like, the first time I saw one, I was like, holy shit, and then they started breeding into hybrid animal ants, and then hybrid human ants, who can talk and use Nen, like, shit. Meeting Kite was pretty cool, and his Grim Reaper Blade is pretty badass. It kind of sucks that Kite ended up dying so quickly, I mean, he does come back later as a little girl. Damn, he's a pretty cool dude, and it would've been cool to see him more, but... I set up all Gon's arc about being responsible for what happened to Kim, and it really drove him this season to being this more badass kid, especially taking his first lives and really using all his dead power to turn into this giant Hulk. I was like, holy shit, Gon is going off on Pito, and he beats the shit out of that cat person. But damn, the fights were pretty cool in this, all the different moves, the different creatures being able to do it. It kind of sucked that we didn't get to see any more like kind of cameos from a lot of the other hunters we've met through the seasons. One of my favorite characters we was he called go I just really liked his octopus and he was just a cool character and I really enjoyed his relationship with Killua throughout this the ants were just pretty much a weird thing and the aftermath of it I love how the government just covers up everything like it didn't happen we don't need to worry about it and I like how the little girl who was one of the original kids to die which is what I noticed the season was gonna get dark and she's alive but as an ant and now I found that interesting that she got to go back to her mom and it's really touching it made me tear up a little bit this season was not my favorite but there were some pretty cool moments and some pretty cool characters I did like out of it and I'm, it, it makes me want to finish the last season. So let's do it. Finished season six of Hunter x Hunter. There's some cool moments like Liaro coming back and using a portal punch to punch Gene in the face because he's a terrible father and won't go see his own son in the hospital. Oh, that was pretty cool. I love having Lero back and it was a pretty cool uh, move because now we can use Nen. But it was also cool to see that everyone we've met throughout the seasons have come back to see Gon in the hospital, except Kurapika. And I was like, where the hell is he? And then we finally find out at the end of the episode, Kurapika finally got all his clan's eyes back and we didn't even get to see it. That would have been pretty cool. But the Killua arc of the story was pretty cool too with his sister Aluka who has this demon side to her who grants wishes and I like how it's him trying to protect her at all costs to save Gon and get her to heal him, but then he tries to get her dark side to go away forever. I love how Kilo finally comes around to realizing that both parts of his sister are his sister and their family and that he needs to protect both of them at all costs. But that tree climbing them was pretty cool and I like Jean and Gon bonding, talking about their stories. And I love how Jean told them to always go on his side quest because those are the memories he'll remember for his life. And I also love how they set up this whole outside world with monsters and stuff and then the show's canceled. Give me season seven. I need to see this new monster world. I've been wanting to see a lot of monsters for forever. This was a great anime. I wonder what's next. Maybe Death Note. Thanks for watching my third anime, Hunter x Hunter. If you like content just like this, hit the subscribe button for more. And on top of it, let me know what you thought of the series down in the comments below. And I still have a bunch of supercuts to go, so make sure you stay tuned for that.